This is Cristiano Ronaldo, the second greatest footballer of all time. But now, he is the most disrespected man in the world. But today, that is going to change as I'm going to make Cristiano Ronaldo the best player in the world. Cristiano Ronaldo in one season in Saudi Arabia has won it all. 38 years old and still breaking records. What's next for Cristiano? Will he stay another season at Al Nasser or will he retire on a high? <laughs> Silly news. They think I'm finished? They think I'm a retire? Silly lads. I'm on my way to Europe and I'm going to become the best player in the world. There is no way Cristiano is going back to Real Madrid. There's no way this amounts to anything. He's way too old to compete at the top. So Alex, what are you doing here? I am pleased to say that I am the manager of Real Madrid. Wow, it's a blessing to play under you again. Let's dominate world football. Let's do it. Not only is Cristiano Ronaldo back in the Champions League, but he's paired up with his favorite manager of all time, his biggest teacher in his life, Sir Alex Ferguson. Can Cristiano go ahead and take Real Madrid to another Champions League victory and become the best player in the world? Or will he prove the world right that he is way too old to compete in the biggest stage of them all? All right, Cristiano, it's been a while, but it's time to remind the world of who you are, Mr. Champions League, and more importantly, the best player in the world. 23 minutes in the game. Cristiano Ronaldo wearing the number 10, which is looking weird. Has a penalty. He goes to the left and he puts it away. Ronaldo gets his first goal back in the Champions League with Real Madrid. But here comes AC Milan on the counter attack with a brilliant through ball with Sandro Tonali. And now it's Marcus Turam. 1v1 against Tiribo Courtois. Marcus Turam with a shot and it goes in. Straight away, AC Milan get an equalizer. Can Ronaldo go ahead and get the winner here? And no, it wasn't meant to be for Cristiano's return at the Bernabeu in the Champions League. They do pick up a 1-1 draw, but that is only because Ronaldo scored a goal. But straight after that draw against AC Milan, it's time to go all the way to Scotland as Cristiano up next has a deal against Celtic. It should be a relatively easy game. Hopefully, Ronaldo gets amongst the goals, but you never know as it's the Champions League. But they go all the way. They're running down the wing with a cross to Cristiano with the header and he puts it away. Who else to jump almost seven feet into the air and put away a header? But Cristiano Ronaldo, surely he is back to his best here in the Real Madrid chair. But now Tony Cruz is on the ball in the midfield with a brilliant through ball into Cristiano. And now it's Cristiano Ronaldo running down and it's into Vinicius Jr. 1v1 against the goalkeeper. It's still Vinicius to get his first goal of the competition. But he gives it to Ronaldo instead with a shot and he puts it away. Ronaldo, three goals in two games, wearing the number 10 back in a Real Madrid shirt. Surely he's gonna win them another Champions League. Surely he's gonna become the best player in the world again. And that was all she wrote for this visit to Scotland against Celtic. Two goals from Ronaldo, three goals in two games. But up next, it was time for him to focus yet again as he's returning home to Lisbon against Sporting de Portugal. We go ahead and continue his form or will his old age start to show? And now it's Riyad Mahrez on the ball with a brilliant through ball into Cristiano. He's been in this position before many times in his career. 1v1 against a sporting goalkeeper. Cristiano is going to shoot. No, he rainbow flicks past the goalkeeper and has a shot. What a beautiful goal from Cristiano. That is absolutely insane. 38 years old, he rainbow flicks the goalkeeper probably with one of the best goals of his career. He's still amazing even at his age. And the ref blows whistle as he caps off an amazing victory for Cristiano. Three games, three victories and four goals for Cristiano. Surely he cannot be stopped. Man, this team hasn't been good enough, but that is no excuse. I will drag this team if I have to and become the world's best player. But it's now time for the fourth game of the group stage returning to the Santiago Bernabeu against Sporting yet again. If Ronaldo and Cole can go ahead and get the victory, they're on to the round of 16. But if they pick up a loss here, they can pick up a bad run of form and possibly not even make it out of the competition. But to be honest, that doesn't even look likely. In the 15th minute, Sporting, Pedro Goncalves has a penalty. Can he go ahead and put it away? Goes to the left and they do pick up a goal. Surely this shouldn't affect the game too much as Sporting go 1-0 up. But somehow that was all she wrote for this game against Sporting as Real Madrid pick up their first loss of this Champions League campaign. They have two games left to qualify. As long as they win one, they should be going to the round of 16. However, the next game in the San Siro against AC Milan did finish in a boring 0-0 draw. That means if Real Madrid do not win their next game and Sporting pick up a victory, they'll be out of the Champions League and surely the media will laugh at Ronaldo. But surely there is absolutely no way Mr. Champions League, the second greatest of all time, would not do the job here. All right, Ronaldo. Last game you have to send us to the next round. We are counting on your boss. I'm the boss. However, I hope the pressure isn't all on me by doing my best, but the team hasn't lived up to the expectations. Ronaldo, 
You're my favorite player. I have high expectations for you. I will always rely on you. Okay, I understand. Yes, sir. I'm not sure Sir Alex Ferguson may blame me if something goes wrong, but I won't let it happen. But it's time for the final game of the group stage. Ronaldo versus Celtic, the easiest opponent of the group. Surely, Cristiano Ronaldo will pick up a hat trick here and take them to the next round. But 13 minutes in, Celtic have a penalty. They return ball, goes to the left hand side and it goes in. Real Madrid are 1-0 down at home to Celtic to possibly send them out of the Champions League. On Ronaldo's return to the Bernabeu and his return to Real Madrid. Surely this cannot happen, man. And that's it. The game is over. Celtic win 1-0. The return for Ronaldo is over. The party is ruined by Celtic. Ronaldo is out of the Champions League. Real Madrid is out of the Champions League. How did this happen, man? <laughs> Ronaldo out of the Champions League. The three guarantees in life. Death, taxes, and CR7 being washed. There was no chance he was going to perform at this age. All right, Ronaldo. Don't worry about your performance that led us to being knocked out. Wait, wait, wait. Are you blaming me right now? Ronaldo, you should have won us the game. You're the main man. But let's focus on the rest of the season. You know what? You're right. Let's forget and focus on winning the Europa League. After a tough couple months of Ronaldo getting shitted on on the media, he returned to his good form here in the Europa League. And they're now in the Europa League final up against Man United. Can Ronaldo go ahead and redeem himself after his team? Maybe not even him. It's not even his fault. But we're Madrid. We're not good at the Champions League. Can they go ahead and secure our European trophy in the final? against Man United. And the game was an absolute boring one as no goals were scored or no shots were taken in the full 90 minutes and they went to extra time which was also boring. So it's time for Ronaldo and Real Madrid to go up to penalties against Manchester United. Surely this is looking for a bottle for one of these teams and hopefully Ronaldo is not at the end of that bottle. Bruno Fernandes is taking the first penalty and he's going to go ahead and go to the right-hand side and he puts it away as United take a 1-0 lead. Ronaldo up against his old teammates, the team that did not like him at the end of his career. Ronaldo goes to the left and he puts it away. It is almost saved by David De Gea, but now it's Sir Marcus Rashford, the best player at United right now. Goes to the right and he puts it away. 2-1 to my United and now Karim Benzema, another legend here at Real Madrid. Can he go ahead and make it 2-2 and yes, he does. He goes to the left and now... It's all square here in the third penalty to Sam Vlachovic as he goes to the right-hand side and it's 3-2. No one has missed the penalty just yet. And now Luka Modric wearing the number seven when it should be Ronaldo. And he goes to the left and he puts it away. I don't know why Sir Alex has not given the number seven to Ronaldo, but Christian Eriksen is going to go ahead and go down the middle and he's chipped. Thiago Courtois is chipped. Tony Cruz to go ahead and equalize the game to make it 4-4 as he goes to the left and it's saved by David De Gea. If Harry Maguire out of all people put this away Real Madrid lose the Europa League final and Ronaldo will probably get left out again as Harry Maguire goes to the left but Courtois makes a save and now Real Madrid Vinicius Jr. has to go ahead and score this to keep him alive to send them to sudden death can he do it Vinicius Jr. lines up for the penalty as he goes to the left hand side and he puts it away it is now sudden death and this amazing penalty shootout in the Europa League as Anthony goes to the left hand side but Courtois makes a save and now Noel, the youngster from Real Madrid, can he go ahead and send them to the stars and give them that Europa League trophy? Give Ronaldo another European trophy to his star studded career as Noel goes to the left and he puts it away. Somehow, Real Madrid have won the Europa League. It's sad to see that they couldn't win the Champions League. They were knocked out for some reason or the other, whether it's Ronaldo's fault or Real Madrid's. But now, they are celebrating the win of the Europa League. What comes next for Cristiano Ronaldo? Is he going to retire here, not becoming the best player in the world? Or at the age of 39, is he going to continue his career and still try to achieve that goal? Breaking news. Although seemingly controversial, Sir Alex has gone on a selling spree, getting rid of the biggest legends in Madrid's history. But somehow he's kept hold of the oldest and the worst in Cristiano. Surely he's going to get sacked this season. Excuse me, Sir Alex, you have sold every experienced player of the club. Why have you done this? First of all, Ronaldo, I don't appreciate the lack of faith in me, causing you to question me. Secondly, these players will be replaced. Don't worry. Okay, boss, I will trust you. As long as you bring in experienced players, we need to win the Champions League. Sir Alex has lost the plot. After selling the likes of Benzema and Luka Modric, he's brought in a crop of inexperienced players like Enzo, Gravenberch and Porro. Will this signal the end of Madrid's time at the top, the end of Sir Alex's career, or most importantly, the burying of Ronaldo's career? This is not looking good, bro, but I must stay focused. 
but it is now time to kick off the Champions League campaign. Sir Alex has made a little bit of a controversial decision to sell some of these legends and Ronaldo kind of was bothered by it but you know what he decided to stay at the club, stay loyal to Real Madrid and stay loyal to Sir Alex Ferguson. Let's see how far Real Madrid go and Ronaldo go this season as he's still trying to become the best player in the world. It's obvious these players are not in their prime however I must not use this as an excuse. I will step up my game to lead these players to the top of world football. And here come Juventus, Dennis Sicaria gives the ball into Paul Pogba, Paul Pogba into Rodrigo with a shot and it goes in. Straight away, this inexperienced side is really showing as Juventus take a lead in the 34th minute in the first half. Hopefully Ronaldo can lead this team to a comeback. And no, that's it. Real Madrid have picked up the first loss of the Champions League campaign against Juventus. Is this what, was this a mistake from Sir Alex? Did he really make a mistake by selling these legends and bringing an inexperienced side? Can Ronaldo go ahead and lead the side anywhere out of the group stages as they were knocked out last year? And in the second game against Celtic, it was no different. After another poor performance ended in a nil-nil draw, Real Madrid only had one point after two games in the Champions League. What is going wrong, man? But up next, it was time to go ahead and visit Amsterdam. It's time to visit the Netherlands against Ajax. Surely those past two games were just a bad run of form and now the team are used to each other and now the team is used to being run by Ronaldo. Can they go ahead and pick up the first three points but more importantly can Ronaldo pick up his first goal of the Champions League campaign? away from home against Ajax. Federico Valverde on the ball in the 13th minute with a through ball into Rafael Leal but it's a shit, it's a shit pass from Federico. Yo, I got space, send me! Come on man. And now here comes Enzo Fernandez running the week. Cross Enzo, cross it Enzo. Enzo, why are you not crossing the ball? Why'd you cross so late, man? And now it's Rafael Leal on the current attack. Still nil nil into Rodrigo. Rodrigo, can he go ahead and have a finish? It's saved by the goalkeeper. This Real Madrid side just can't do well right now. Yo, send me. Rodri, finish. Come and on, now man. here come Ajax looking for the first goal of the game to ruin the dreams of Real Madrid with a shot and it goes in. This Real Madrid side has just went from bad to worse as they concede a 66 minute goal to Ajax. Surely this game is over as this Real Madrid side just can't click man. And the game does add 1-0. Ajax pick up a victory leaving Real Madrid after 3 games with 1 point looking very unlikely that they'll qualify to the round of 16 just like they did it last year. Is this the end of Ronaldo's career or is it just Real Madrid's inexperienced side that isn't helping him? This team is falling apart man, I can't let this happen, I must save this team! But it's time for the return leg, the fourth game of the Champions League campaign. If Real Madrid loses this game, they're confirmed out of the Champions League as they go up against Ajax, the team they lost to a couple weeks ago. Ronaldo is determined to drag the side to the round of 16. Can he do it? 16 minutes in, there is a penalty for Cristiano Ronaldo. He's gonna go ahead and go to the left hand side and he puts it away top corner. It does not matter that the goalkeeper went the right direction. Ronaldo is a determined Ryan right now and he wants to qualify for the round of 16. And he wants to become the best player in the world. And the ref blows the whistle and that Ronaldo first goal of this UCL campaign was enough to give them their first victory and still giving them hope to qualify for the round of 16. We're straight after that win, Ronaldo needs to focus yet again as his job is to carry the side to the next round. But up next, they have the toughest team in the group up against Juventus, who they lost 1-0 to originally. Can he go ahead and do it against his former teammates? Enzo Fernandez picks up the ball in the midfield with a through ball into Cristiano Ronaldo. Looking for a goal here, looking to score against his own teammates, looking to avenge this team. Cristiano with a shot, he puts it away. Of course, where Ronaldo is determined for something, he always does it as he takes a 1-0 lead against Juventus, keeping him alive and the Champions League dreams alive and his dream of becoming the world's best player. And the ref blows away, so that one goal was all he needed. It may have been just a 1-0 victory, but Ronaldo is dragging this side to the run of 16 dragging them towards their dreams and his dreams as well but it's now time for the final group stage game Real Madrid need to pick up a victory and hope other results elsewhere go their way and they're up against Celtic the team that knocked them out last year will Ronaldo be the big game player like he always is or will he fall in this hurdle up against Celtic once again okay Ronaldo one more hurdle win this game and show the world you can still become the world's best player 52 minutes in, it's Enzo Fernandez with a cross in to Cristiano Ronaldo with the hand and he puts it away. Ronaldo, leave it to this man to score the potential winner, the potential goal that sends him to the next round after a terrible performance in the group stages for Real Madrid. And now it's Eden Hazard on the ball with a brilliant through ball to Cristiano. Can he go ahead and make it two in the 70th minute with a shot? And yes, he does. 
who else but to perform in the biggest stage of them all when it really matters but Cristiano Ronaldo surely single-handedly has sent Real Madrid to the next round and the ref blows the whistle he single-handedly kept Real Madrid's dreams alive and his own dreams alive to become the best player in the world but it's now time since his first return back to the Champions League to go to the next round to the round of 16 let's see who he's up against we're in the January transfer window and huge respect to Ronaldo for dragging Real Madrid to the next round. Sir Alex should prioritize bringing in veterans to help Ronaldo lead this side. Sir Alex has spoken. He has signed Kylian Mbappe. Surely this is the replacement for Ronaldo. Mbappe and Ronaldo can't play in the same lineup. It seems like Sir Alex wants to build a new Galacticos. What does this mean for Ronaldo? Yo boss, what is going on? Mbappe! You are not helping this team at all. Wow, Ronaldo. I am tired of you not believing in me after I've made your career. You're getting benched. Leave my office now. Wow, this is unbelievable. 3 0 to City. This club is done. Sir Alex is wrong. Wow, what now? But it is now time for the second leg here at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. Real Madrid are three goals behind. Sir Alex had a stinker of Betsy Ronaldo, but he also had an even bigger stinker to only sign Kylian Mbappe and basically replace Cristiano. So now it's up to him to see if he can go ahead and change the tie and go on to the quarterfinal. And now it's Enzo Fernandez on the ball. Enzo gives the ball into Cristiano Ronaldo, who's through with a shot and it puts it away in the second half. 56 minutes in, it's 1-0. There's still so much time left to go ahead and make a comeback. Can Cristiano send this team to the quarterfinals? Federico Valverde with a brilliant pass. It's Ronaldo who is now on the run. 1v1, he gets past the defender. Ronaldo cuts back inside. Ronaldo with a shot and it's saved by Ederson. He gets denied with 10 minutes left to go. And boys, that's it. The game's over. Ronaldo is knocked out of the Champions League. He is not winning the Champions League this year. He is not becoming the best player in the world this year. You just know that the media is going to let it rip on him right now. Ronaldo has not gone past the round of 16. He is out. What is going to happen next? Ronaldo is 40 years old next season. What is he going to do? Is he going to retire? Or is he going to still try again to become the best player in the world? Well, Ronaldo, congratulations. You have cost the club to go to the next round. How could you blame this on me? You put me in the second leg while 3-0 down. There wasn't much I could do. You know what, Ronaldo? You're gone. You will leave my club as soon as the transfer window opens. What is going on in the footballing world? Ronaldo has joined Barcelona. What has this world come to? Will he become the world's best player at Barca? Welcome, son. I have some news. What is it, father? We are moving to Barcelona. I hope you aren't mad considering you grew up supporting Madrid. All I care about is that you're happy playing football. Let's go to Barca so you could become the world's best player. What a shocking season. Cristiano Ronaldo has joined a club no one ever thought he would. We're in the blue and maroon for the first time. He steps out for what it seems like the last time. One last opportunity to put all the failures in the past to regain the biggest individual trophy in world football. This is the Champions League and it's live!
But it is now time for the round of 16. Ronaldo has shocked the entire world by joining Barcelona and actually doing amazing with them. But now, this was the last time where Ronaldo lost in the round of 16, but this time he is not benched for the first round. Barcelona have respected him ever since he joined, even though it's been controversial. But can Ronaldo go ahead and send the club that he rivaled for so many years to the next round of the quarterfinals? 36 minutes in, here comes Cristiano Ronaldo, has scored already so many goals in a Barca show. It's still Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldo, cuts aside, it's still Cristiano, gets past the defender, gets past the second, Ronaldo with a finesse and he puts it away. No matter what shirt he's wearing, no matter what team he's playing for, no matter how old he is, Ronaldo will always score goals, that is a guarantee. And the ref blows the whistle as the first leg ends in a well-known victory for Barcelona away from home at the Allianz Arena. But it's time to focus yet again as it's time for the second leg in the Camp Nou. Can Ronaldo and Barcelona go ahead and finish the job? Mohamed Salah with a through ball into Cristiano Ronaldo. 1v1 against Mario Neuer. Ronaldo with a shot and of course, he is always going to put it away. 10 times out of 10. If he's put into that position, he is always going to put it away. And that was all she wrote. Ronaldo has finally made it out of the run of 16 after two times in a row not being able to get past the run of 16. And he has now set possibly the club that he hated the most in the past to the quarterfinal. He is truly shocking the world by wearing that Barcelona shirt. However, the quarterfinals was going to be an even tougher one as they're potentially playing the best team in the world and the richest team in the world against PSG in this first leg of the quarterfinals in the Camp Nou. Can Ronaldo go ahead and clutch up in the block runner once again? And now it's the youngster Pedri in the ball. Pedri gets out body, but he picks up the ball once again with a through ball into Cristiano, who has been given the number seven here because he is respected. Cristiano hits the side with a finesse, and Ronaldo is going to do Ronaldo things, scoring a goal against PSG to take the lead 1 0 in the first leg. And yet again, it's another 1 0 victory. It's another goal for Ronaldo, absolutely carrying Barcelona, absolutely embarrassing the world by proving that he can do it, and no matter what shirt he's wearing. But it's now time for the second leg, the quarterfinals against PSG. They're are currently 1-0 no up, but PSG are a huge danger at home. Can Barcelona go ahead and finish the job here? And they technically did finish the job as they did and no no, but it's time to find out who they're playing in the semis. Alright, it's semi-final time. Ronaldo has been in this position before. He's been in this position countless of times at his time for the first leg against Tottenham Hotspur at home in the Camp Nou. There's only one team left in his way to going to a Champions League final after not being in one for so long. Barcelona do have a free kick in their halfway line and now it's Ronaldo Araujo. Ronaldo Araujo on the ball, gives it to Usman and Dembele with a pass into Ronaldo as he comes back. Ronaldo with a finesse and Ronaldo has scored in every single leg of this competition here in the Champions League. Can he go ahead and score another one in this tie? The game does end 1-0 as Barcelona take a comfortable 1-0 lead to the second leg, but it's time to go to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. One game left to go, one win away from reaching his dreams of reaching that final with Barcelona, which nobody would have ever expected in his entire career. But is he gonna prove to be the big game player? Is he gonna prove to be that at 40 years old, he can still become the world's best player. Mohamed Salah now on the ball, down that right wing in the eighth minute of the game, and it's Ronaldo. Ronaldo has all the space, he's gonna take it. He's not gonna pass the ball to his money. It's still Ronaldo, can he pass all the defenders? It's still Ronaldo with a shot, and he puts it away. Scores yet another goal, and another hard tie. As K takes him potentially to the next round, to the final. This could be the goal that sends him to the top. And yes, every single leg of this Champions League campaign, from the round of 16 to the second leg of the semi-final, has been a 1-0 victory. Every single goal scored by Cristiano Ronaldo. And he has sent Barcelona to the Champions League final. One step away from winning his Champions League once again. And one step away from potentially becoming the best player in the world. Sir Alex, it's time for the Champions League final. It's the El Clasico against your former student, Ronaldo. How do you feel? As much as I love Ronnie, he has disrespected me, so he must go down. Ronaldo, up against your biggest teacher, what will the result be? I love Sir Alex. I always will. But I must take him down today. Let the best team win. But it is now time for the Champions League final. Who would have thought it? Ronaldo playing against Real Madrid in a Champions League final in a Barcelona shirt. That is absolutely insane. But it's the battle of Ronaldo versus Mbappe. Barcelona versus Madrid. But more importantly, the Clasico. But more importantly, Ronaldo 
versus Sir Alex Ferguson, the man who portrayed him by signing Kylian Mbappe last season. Who will come out on top? The legend, the manager legend, or the second greatest, potentially even now, the best player of all time. Who's gonna win? On the field, he stands a man with a mission, a player with a legacy beyond comprehension. But the world had forgotten his talent and grace, disrespecting his worth, his rightful place. So watch out, for here he comes, the master of the game with a new drum. He'll show you all what it means to be great, and once again, he'll claim his rightful place. Chouamani gives the ball to Vinicius, picks up the ball with a beautiful screen move, he gets past the defenders, it's still Vinicius, no, it's still Vinicius with a shot and he puts Real Madrid with a 1-0 lead, Vinicius Jr. who is sought to be re the replacement for Cristiano, has done an amazing job to put Real Madrid 1-0 up in the ninth minute. But it's now Ronaldo, 7 minutes later, into Frankie De Jong, Frankie De Jong comes back, Frankie, back into Ronaldo with a shot and he has equalized the game, only 7 minutes later. Ronaldo has given Barcelona a lifeline. He has given himself a lifeline to become the best player in the world. But now it's Usmane Dembele. Picks up the ball. Usmane with a brilliant through ball to Ronaldo. 1v1. Can he go ahead and finish off this game? And yes, he does. This could be the potential winning goal. The potential goal to give him a Champions League win. The potential goal to make him the world's best player. And the ref has blown the whistle. Ronaldo has done it after all the adversity, after the betrayal from Sir Alex Ferguson, after all the hate from the media. Ronaldo is at the top of world football once again as he lifts the Champions League trophy and has given himself another Champions League victory in Barcelona colors. But the question is, will he become the best player in the world at 40 years old and win that elusive Ballon d'Or? And the winner of the Ballon d'Or is Cristiano Ronaldo. I knew dad would do it. Surely I will also become the very best player one day. If you guys enjoyed this video, you guys would definitely enjoy me making Neymar the world's best player. Click right here.